Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today we're playing the Guild Wars 2 Press Beta Weekend and we're going to have a look at the human starting area. The females look absolutely dazzlingly beautiful. They're um, so hot. Loads of them look like Megan Fox. Basically, <laughs> about 90% of all like female <laughs> characters are going to look like Megan Fox. Which isn't a bad thing. So, I'm just going to go with Elementalist because... Oh, look at that costume. It's, it's amazing. Uh, what are you going to play? I am a necromancer. I'm already in the game. Uh, killing some centaurs. Are you? Killing some time. Yeah, I'm already in here, man. Oh my god. I didn't realise you were so far ahead of me. I can't, I can't wait to play this game. I literally <laughs> can't wait for you to come <laughs> online to play this game. So I have to choose my personal story things. I can choose a story of water, of fire, of earth, or of air. This is a, a, an elementalist thing. So some of them are to do with your race, some of them are to do with your class. I'm going to choose fire. I love fire. I'm, I'm, I'm a lovely, beautiful lady. Uh, I was raised either in the streets by common folk or amongst them. I think I'm a noble um, lady. One of my biggest regrets is that I've never searched my true parents. I never recovered my sister's body. Ha! <laughs> or I passed up an opportunity to perform in the circus. Right. Let's go for that one. Sure. Circus is serious business. Mm hmm <laughs> So, so you never, you never found your real parents because you're adopted and there's a tragic tale there or, you know, your, your sister was carried off by centaurs and you know in a raid an ambush and you, you never found out what happened to her if she's dead or alive or you didn't join the circus i mean you've led pre a pretty good life if that's your biggest regret i've, I've had to come up with so many new n character names i'm i've totally i'm terrible just don't worry about it zeph fire plants here we are that's a generic fantasy name crikey um the human race once ruled Tyria. Now, we struggle to hold our ground. We've been defeated, driven back, and broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the Six Gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in Divinity's reach. The city is my home. I was born into luxury, a noble of Divinity's reach. And privilege comes with responsibility. I protect the commoners under my care. They believe in me. I'm grateful for their trust, and I will not let them down. Today I plan to venture beyond the gates of the city and see the world for myself. When I arrived in Shamor, I found the town under siege by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I will show the people that we can triumph, that there is still hope. This is my story. Okay. Let's get let's get on with this. You're already in. You're already doing stuff. Yep. We can see my character and, and what I've called myself. Okay, so you're called Please, I need Necrophil. Are you a man? <laughs> uh, is this your pet here? A uh, Necrophil. <laughs> this is my uh, my colleague. Your accomplice. Colleague. Uh, I prefer the term colleague. He's he's not a pet. <laughs> he's called. He's Mr. Fiend. His uh, his personal friends can call him Please, Blood. <laughs> Uh, this man is telling us to to go to the inn. Hello! Hell smashing to meet you! <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's Mr. Fiend! He's speaking to us. 
So, I've got a fire yet. Flame strike. I don't know what I'm doing. I can imagine him. He's, he wears like a monocle. Oh, God. <laughs> Over that one big, horrible eye. I'm not sh Is it an eye or is it like a gaping maw? I'm not really sure. I don't know. He's, he's a bit gross, isn't he? I'm not. I don't. Ugh. He is a bit gross. Um, but, I mean, don't. Don't let him hear you say that, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, into the inn. Oh, there's a centaurs in the inn. They're obviously having a drink. It's okay, we'll just open them up a bit. In the inn, no problem. That's right, we got we got this. Okay, let's chat to the sergeant. What do you need? Captain Walters, I'm here. Give me your cutsceney goodness. Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thackeray's calling for reinforcements at the garrison. If he's calling for help, it must be serious, but I can't spare anyone. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. Yay. I feel like I should be wearing, like, full plate armor, really, if I'm going to go into a war. Well, I mean, you're a caster. Well... You don't really get the chance to wear loads of plate armour. Well, because you have to wave your arms around dramatically. And you can't do that when you're we wearing full plate. I guess. Well, that must be the reason. Going? So my, ra my class ability is that I can hit F2, but it will change all of my abilities to ice. So instead of fire, I'm now casting ice bolts. Um, how cool is that? Very, very cool. Is it cooler than this, though? Um, I'm not sure now, actually. <laughs> what on earth are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> I entered the sort of spirit realm. It's called Death Shroud. It doesn't last terribly long. So I've got a scepter equipped at the moment. I'm going to equip the, what I just picked up, which is a torch, in my off hand. Oh. Uh, oh no, I can't. I can't equip it. Can you use a torch in your off hand? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me mail this to you. I don't think I can. I can have a focus and uh, oh. a war horn or a dagger in I'll my off hand. I'll send it to you. Um, and you can just see. Oh. I think when I change to my different attunement, it actually does something as well. When I change to water like this, it heals people around me. It's very cool. And when I change back to fire, it scorches people. Um, so you're sort of encouraged to stance dance a bit, because it gives you a bonus when you switch. It's quite cool, quite clever. Pew pew. I love these icy meteors. They're amazing. Okay, let's go and uh, do the quest. I'll go to the garrison. It's a terrible night, isn't it? Look at this. It's pelting down. It's horrible. It's raining cats and dogs. Horrible. Oh, goodness. Horrible weather. Ugh. Oh. What a disgrace. Okay. Ah, you accepted invite. This is good. We can team up, although we can actually team up anyway, even if we're not in the same party. Yeah. Parties are just for, um... Convenience, I guess. That seems it's to be only... Really it's convenient anyway. Uh, it's just for chat, I guess. Personal chat with your pals. More than anything else. And sort of, yeah, help to find the other people in your party. Alright, there's a garrison waypoint here. And there's people attacking. Fend them off. <laughs> Mana Applegate and I will defend the walls with our fiery spells and magic. I put down like an, an AoE on the ground. Grasping dead. I've got an explosive tooth which stabs people from the air. Ugh! 
god, that's amazing. Did you see that? These are awesome. Okay, I'm gonna switch to ice and see what ice is. Uh, let's see if we can get a second ice skill. Of course, all the fire and ice spells will change if I change my weapon. So if I start using like a staff or a dagger or something else, <laughs> yeah, they'll all change. Shatterstone. Oh, it's like an icy crystal that explodes. It's sort of ground targeting. That's quite cool. Uh oh, it's a big one. Oh, this is the leader. High Sage Champion Modir. It seems you can pretty much cast anything while moving. It doesn't seem to be any restrictions on that. Quick, chase him down! Get after him! Get him! Yeah. I think he's legging it. Do you like that? That ground thing? That, that thing? Oh! Oh! What? Uh oh. He's levitating bits of ground. This is the customary giant thing that you have to kill that makes you the hero. Oh, of course. The starter area. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is it? Chase the guy. Oh, it's weird. It's like a big kind of elemental giant hand pillar. Oh snap! Is it like an earth elemental that's like buried? Or what? Watch out for the circles now, on the ground. Those ones. Don't stand in the circles. Let's do some fire. Summon a giant tooth. Attack the hand. Oh, oh. get out of that. Oh, too slow. What's strong against earth? Lightning. I know water. Uh, are you trying to? I think that's Pokemon. I'm thinking of. I'm not sure <laughs> the same rules apply to this. Uh, no. I feel like I should be using. I think I should be using ice. Ice is good against it, right? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's like water. It like freezes into all the cracks and breaks it. I'm just going to keep nuking this big hand. Um. Cool. Oh god, I got a. You guys are right over there. A giant boulder landed on me. I think some of our soldiers are down. We're alright. I think one of our players, the players died as well. Uh, There's no biggie. I'll just shoot like my shadowy bolts at this thing. Wow. We nearly, we nearly got it. We nearly got it. This one. I want to know what Phoenix is. That sounds amazing. That does sound pretty amazing, doesn't it, actually? Oh! I think we got it. There we go, we got it. We got it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh no! Oh, it exploded it.